Landscape Painting Part 2 Maxim Grunin at Maxim Grunin Art I am demonstrating uh, my latest uh, landscape painting project this is the second half of it I already got a, a bunch of good stuff in in fact uh, when I reviewed the video and compared parts of the video to the final to the way the painting turned out i honestly i i really liked uh, some of the previous less finished less populated uh shots so uh, really a lot of good stuff has been already placed and maybe even wrecked uh, I tend to overwork I tend to overdo over just a little much it, it loses the image loses freshness immediacy um, un uniformed feel like the togetherness it starts to get um, broken uh, more into um, unnecessary little individual areas however yeah here let's take a look at what i'm doing here i'm taking a general uh, shape of uh, an object this is a tree an impression of a tree it's i'm painting an image of a tree on a canvas and I'm putting it together with a dark to mid-tone to light movement it's a method I'm moving methodically from general darker overall shape mass and then I'm breaking the object into smaller components creating more three-dimensional information moving from dark to light this is the way my setup looks uh, i work anywhere um, the way i work is so easy to set up and take down um, a studio could be established almost in any <laughs> any clever location right now um, uh, at a workshop space and the world with tools among tools and other things so back to painting i'm thinking that uh, i got a a lot of good details on the left side of the picture and i want to move detail information over to the rest of the picture i am uh, distributing in details now uh, it seems that and the foreground felt a little flat to the eye uh, didn't have um, spatial depth so i thought that i'd place um, a design of a silhouetted plants in the front and then i'm bumping up the highlights with uh, more three-dimensional thicker paint so that they catch light and reflect it so the light areas are uh, thicker uh, paste pastier and so they reflect their reflective property increases so they can uh, naturally have a shine to them and then the shadows are all more flat and then uh, after all this detailing and putting things together then the final stage would be extreme colorful highlights bright bright light highlights to really bump up on the picture and uh, it's done there it is uh, the background behind the trees it's so white so bright and uh, it's so thick that it, it <laughs> gives off a shine almost yeah there's a whole bunch of good stuff i am happy about the colorfulness of the uh, of the tree bark the way i painted it and that it's uh brush strokey and expressive 
thanks for uh, viewing and thanks for joining and liking my content.